Our next guest is commonly known as the Sales Whisperer, and he is here to tell us how our best years of sales, relationships, and any kind of human interaction is right in front of us. Wes, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. It is such a pleasure. I was really excited about this one because I am in business as well, right. B2B sales, and that is your specialty, right? Right, it is. And oftentimes we, with uh, with technology and with all of the great things we have in front of us, sometimes we get kind of like into the details of like, did this email campaign come off well? Or was right. my Google voice forwarded correctly, <laughs> right? And I never have those thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> that is how I live every morning. I wake up going, did Google Voice forward properly? <laughs> but what you're here to tell us is that it really doesn't matter that much. It doesn't. Well, we were talking earlier. You have five kids. I have seven kids. Uh, and two things happen in life, in relationships. A, as children, we know how to sell, right? Well, that, my children know how to sell. I'm sure yours Our do also. kids know how to sell. They know how to sell to stop and get a Happy Meal, how to go get tickets to the movies, tickets to Disney. They can sell. Mm -hmm. But as, as adults, as parents, we know how to sell as well. I call it close first and then present. Mm. Okay? Mommy, mommy, can I, can I play on the computer? Right? Have you taken a bath? Have you brushed your teeth? Mm -hmm. Right? You get what you want, then you give them what they want. A little bit of quid pro quo, okay. right? And it's human nature. It's built in to how we're wired. Mm -hmm. But maybe after being told no a whole bunch of times, uh, either as a kid or even going to middle school, high school, whatever, college, we kind of pull back. And then we think it's very prescriptive. We think mm -hmm. it's, it's technology or, or whatnot to get the point across. And we forget at the other end of the screen here, the other end of the iPhone, there's a human being. Mm -hmm. And so especially now the millennials and, and even even gen xers and i guess that's me i mean we we forget we're tied into the technology we forget just get your point across mm -hmm. i always tell people deliver a powerful message in a powerful manner and you'll connect very few people even take the time to deliver a powerful message they just Hey, if I blast this to enough places, Google Voice, carrier pigeons, skywriting, you know, then it'll get out there. And, and eventually maybe it will, but that's a lot of effort and a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You could dial it back, think about the human being on the other end of the screen, and life gets a lot easier, um, a lot more affordable, mm -hmm. business grows, relationships grow. A lot more fun. It's a lot more fun. A lot See, more I'm fun. always after the fun. I know you are, and <laughs> totally I, I, but I think fun. that's what it's all about. Nobody wants to talk to a businessman on the other end of the line that's just reading from a script, no. right? Mm -hmm. The best relationships that I have are the ones where somebody actually asks me how I'm doing, and I can tell they're authentic. Right. I went into a bank the other day, and like three different times, and they were like, use the same script. Tell me, how are you doing today? How was your last weekend? Was it fun? <laughs> and I'm like, you're reading, I can tell. Oh, no. But... Uh, your, but your point is so well taken. So here are my questions. The powerful message delivered in a powerful way. So first of all, what is that message? Like, how do we get, how do we, how do we understand what our most powerful message is in this like sea of noise? Well, there's a thing we talk about in, in sales and in marketing. We talk about having, creating a buyer persona, mm -hmm. understanding who it is that we're talking to. Um, as, as the father of seven kids, I've personally never delivered a baby. <laughs> I've been there for all of them. Okay, so people would think, especially with today's segmentation and Facebook, they can, they can do all these um, the database analysis and say, show me everybody that's 36 years old, uh, likes Ellen, uh, and mm -hmm. drinks Starbucks and is left-handed, and they'll try to send the message right to that person. Mm -hmm. Okay, but as, as a father and a husband, I know that when my wife was nursing babies, she liked those glider rockers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, if somebody made glider rockers, they could speak in general. Mm -hmm. Does someone you love is someone you love a nursing mother? Mm -hmm. uh, what do they you know? How do they get their children to sleep? How do they get them to relax and you know stop crying? The glider rocker solves these problems, right? Mm -hmm. So understanding that powerful message: Is there someone in your life? that cares for children mm -hmm. and needs this to sue the baby. Yes. Yes, it's not me, Yes. but it's someone, I'll go buy that rocker. I love what you're saying. <clears throat> so taking it back to where our, our listeners are talking about, we're, we're talking in very general terms. You can use this for business, you can use this for life. Sure. 
the fundamental problem is to find out, is to really understand who you're talking to, number one. In business, we call it buyer personas. In rhetoric, we call it audience, whatever. But the find out who you're talking to, and then you find out either business pain points or in regular life needs, right? right? And you speak to those. Find a need and fill it. That's uh -huh. all business is. Uh -huh. Find a need and fill it. And it's, a, it's that simple, isn't it? It really you is. Find, find a need and fill it. So, and it's also about, but it is like you're saying about the humanity connection. It doesn't matter how good technology is and how mm -hmm. much specific information you can glean mm -hmm. from technology. If you can't speak to another person, then right. you've got nothing. Exactly. Right. So do you Always, have any like, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was saying, you know, uh, marketing is just selling in print. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great marketers usually have a background in sales. They had some experience in sales mm -hmm. and they understood how to parlay that. Uh, into that field because marketing just helps you speak one to many mm -hmm. but at the end of the day it's it's a it's yes. a single individual mm -hmm. you're going to read the paper read the magazine watch the show get the text message mm -hmm. you know so it's a it's a individual sale that you make that's right so do you have any points and tactics that we can use <clears throat> in order to get that sale or get your point communicated or reach out to your long lost daughter what are some ways that you can be the most effective in getting that quote unquote sell? Well, so I've, I've got a five point system we'll talk about in a second. But I always say I got four points of a professional salesperson. And number one is that you believe that selling is a calling. You believe you're in the right place, the right time doing the right thing mm -hmm. for the right reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're, you're there for the reason, you're in the right spot. Uh, serving is its purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, you can, I, I am money motivated. Mm -hmm. I need money to pay for the kids, mm -hmm. uh, put food on the table but I don't do it for the money. Mm -hmm. Money's how we keep score, okay? Money's how I know that I'm serving people, that I'm winning, mm -hmm. okay? But <clears throat> I don't do it just for the money because if you do it just for the money, eventually you'll get tired of that. Right. Questioning is the process, okay? I can show up and tell you, I'm a great salesperson, great sales trainer, you need me to sell more B2B, and, and you'll just be like, I don't want to talk to that guy. Right. But if I ask you questions, how is business? How long has it been that way? Who besides you cares? Are you hitting your numbers? We're coming up to the end of the third quarter. How is it looking? Are you going to finish the year strong? Why or why not? Mm -hmm. How does that impact you? And I ask questions, you realize I'm competent by the questions that I ask. Mm -hmm. And then finally you realize that a sale may be the solution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People always tell me, oh, you're a sales trainer. Can you train my salespeople? And I tell them, how do you know you have salespeople that are trainable? Mm -hmm. right? And they're like, they're not expecting that answer. I've never heard anyone ask that <coughs> question to a sales team before. Yeah, yeah. never. Yeah. The answer is always, of course I can. Right, because they better, want the money. Because I'm better than the other mm -hmm. 90 people who failed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the short answer is, of course, you can pay me money. I can show up, talk to a screen, mm -hmm. draw on a board, sure. and train the people. But they don't, they don't want training. They want better, more productive salespeople. That's what mm -hmm. they really want. Mm -hmm. So the real, that's why like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if you have people that are trainable. Yeah, I love what you said about a sale may be the answer, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I um, in my full-time job, I'm the VP of marketing for Simplest, right? But I do have a sales background. Right. So I really resonated with what you said. You know, I've gone out and I've sold um, millions of dollars worth of business, but I had to believe in it first. Mm -hmm. And when I got the best sales is when I went, pushed back on them and I said, this is not what you need. When you're in this position, when you're in this situation, mm -hmm. then that's the right fit for you. Right. And then they all of a sudden, you know, like the trust builds and they're like, wait, you're just not after the money. You're not just trying to sell me something just to sell right. me. Then you they know? really want it. Yeah, then they, <laughs> then, then they want it, first of all. And then, but then they also realize that you're trustable. And right. so I really liked that fourth point. I thought right. that was really great. And that's why being more seasoned in business, it takes a while mm -hmm. to realize not everybody's a prospect. I can't chase after mm -hmm. everybody. Being selective. You know, that comes with maturity. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I say it's, there's a lot of people, uh, maybe with a little gray hair, mm -hmm. don't, they don't see that gray hair, right? <laughs> uh, that can teach a lesson that can help mm -hmm. these millennials or even the, some of the, uh, the younger Gen Xers stay calm, mm -hmm. stay mm -hmm. the course, it's going to work out. Don't, don't chase it, don't force it. I love that. So, what are your five points? Now I'm really curious. So, I'm from the South, I like to keep things simple. So, it's just, 
alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. And so we've heard about funnels. Mm -hmm. I put it out in a funnel and then something will come out, or a pipeline. Mm -hmm. Cram a lot in here and a little bit comes mm -hmm. out. It's really a cycle. Okay, it's a circle. It reminds mm -hmm. me when you when you talk about it, like it reminds me of like a sausage back then. Right? <laughs> yes. Well, and you don't want to you don't want to know how sausage is made or how laws are made, <laughs> no. right? You don't want to see right. how those things are done. <laughs> that's right. And that's how it kind of is in sales. You don't want to see behind the scenes, right? Mm -hmm. You've probably seen some bullpens been in the back. They're screaming and yelling, writing things on the board, keeping track, ringing bells. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got this. Mm -hmm. It's not always the most pleasant, but it's it's a cycle. It's a circle. And A is for attract. Are you attracting people to you? Are you attractive? Are you, are you giving something that the prospect wants? Mm -hmm. And they're willing to identify themselves, give you a name, a phone number, um, something to opt in, an email address. So now you can bond with them, right? Multimedia, multi-step. Can you email them? Can you call them? Can you send them a letter? Multimedia, multi-step. People don't just buy the first time. Mm -hmm. Certainly not a small deal. Mm -hmm. Big deals you're working on probably take months or even years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got to stay in touch. So C is the close, the conversion, the, the cash. Mm -hmm. Most amateur salespeople, and most are amateurs, think that the sale is the end goal. Mm -hmm. Get the money and run. Mm -hmm. Okay? But in the reality, A, B, C, D, E, C is the midway point. Mm -hmm. I can always cancel that contract. I can file a chargeback. Mm -hmm. I can give you a one-star review on Yelp and make your life miserable. So professionals see beyond the sale to the deed. They delight. They mm -hmm. deliver a wow experience. Mm -hmm. So are you thinking beyond the sale? Because mm -hmm. if you can deliver that wow experience, now you endear yourself to them. Okay, now they're taking pictures, they're taking selfies, they're taking pictures of your food, they're giving you five-star reviews, they're telling their friends and family, which brings us back to A, right? You attract, now your happy, endeared clients are bringing birds of a feather back to you and it gets faster and faster and easier and easier. Mm, and it's a great cycle. Right. So, okay, so tell me the A, B, C, D, E. Attract, bond, convert, deliver, endear. I love that. Perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Pretty and good. as it works in relationships as well. Mm -hmm. right? oh, I, I have a whole thing. It's a pipeline, but it's the sales equals dating pipeline. Oh, cool. And I met my wife at a bar. I was, right. that's so funny because I was just going to say, I'm going to send this to Chris Harrison and say, use this for all of your bachelor contestants. Absolutely. Doing the right things for the right yeah. reasons. Yeah, well, you, well you, make, you make eye contact, ask her to dance. Can I buy you a drink? Can I get your phone number? Can we go to dinner? You meet the family, pick out, you know, go to dates two to 22, you know, meet the family, pick out rings, tie the knot. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a sequence. Now, of course, you can skip some steps and you may or may not get in trouble if you skip some steps. <laughs> But if you follow, right. there, there's, a, there's a courtship there. And it's very much, if you follow that sequence mm -hmm. and understand the progression. It works. It, it works. works. It time works. after time. That's are those wonderful. listed on your website? They are, okay. absolutely. Okay. okay, so Wes Schaefer, the sales whisperer. That's you, these, this is amazing advice for sales, for business, for and relationships, life. and for life. And uh, we'll get, we can get a hold of you on thesaleswhisperer.com. You can me. go to, right to the website. Right. Um, do you have an email you'd like to share with our viewers? Uh, just from right there, if you hit that, the contact us, it comes straight to okay. me. Okay, so perfect. So fill that out and you we'll will hear from me. We'll put that on the screen and we'll look forward to sharing it with our guests. Sounds great. All right, Thank thanks you. so much for being here. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. <laughs>